Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Now at 830, two years ago today, a Nicholasville police officer was shot and police are still looking to make an arrest. Plus, two teenagers have been arrested in connection with a double shooting at a Lexington apartment complex. And two men are in jail after a Perry County's official's home is invaded. We have these stories and more, plus breaking news as it happens, coming up on WKYT this morning. Good morning to you on this Sunday. I'm Whitney Wetzel. And I'm Mike Linden. Sunday morning, a chilly morning as cold air moved in from the north yesterday. And you can certainly feel it if you step outside this morning. Luckily, though, the skies, as you can see from our live sky camera here, are mostly filled with clouds. There are some breaks in the clouds, and that's what kept us, for the most part, frost-free last night. Some spots looking at patchy frost, but that's the key word, patchy. And if we look to our temperatures, in fact, those clouds helping us retain some kind of warmth from yesterday, with temperatures right now sitting in the mid-40s through most of Kentucky. Danville, Richmond, Mount Sterling, Moorhead, Jackson, all at 45. That's the average temperature as we get going this morning. So it's safe to say it's pretty chilly as we get started this morning. But later this afternoon, the skies will open up a bit. Doesn't look like any rainfall, but a nice afternoon ahead of us here with a chance for showers Monday and Tuesday as well. I'll take you hour by hour and show you those rain chances and when the skies will clear coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Mike, thank you. We'll check back in here in a bit. It was two years ago today that someone shot a Nicholasville police officer while he patrolled a neighborhood. He survived, but the shooter has not been caught, and the community is offering a big reward for his arrest. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk with more on this story. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Whitney. Nicholasville police hope this will be the last year the case will go unsolved. Now the community is hoping a reward, which is now at $25,000, will lead to an arrest. Investigators tell us Officer John Rainey was shot two years ago when he was patrolling a neighborhood on Maple Leaf Lane. Police say Rainey was following a man who was acting suspiciously. We're told the man opened fire on Rainey when he started running to a wooded area to get away. Investigators say Rainey shot back before he was shot in the back. He tells us his bulletproof vest stopped the bullet from hitting his heart. Police say they still don't know who shot Rainey, but they believe they can find the shooter with the community's help. But we feel like here in Nicholasville that we do the best job that we can and that the community enjoys and, and wants us to be around and works well with us. Police say if the shooter is caught, he will be charged with first degree assault or attempted murder. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. New this morning, Lexington police say a man was robbed by four people overnight. It happened around 340 on Oxford Circle. Police say a man called in saying that two men and two women pulled up in a white Chevy sedan. The victim says the two men then got out of that car, assaulted him, stole his keys and his phone, and then took his truck. Police have a limited description of the suspects, but his truck has since been found. Meanwhile, also new this morning, Madison County Sheriff's deputies were on the scene of a crash that damaged a light pole. It happened on Main and Church Street around 2 o'clock. Deputies at the scene say a drunk driver hit that light pole. Utility crews had to come out and repair it. Witnesses couldn't say whether or not the driver ran a red light at that intersection. No injuries were reported in that crash. Also in Madison County, deputies are investigating a late night car and train crash. It happened near Menelos Road and Chapel Road around 11 last night. Berea firefighters tell us there was a car on the tracks and two people were inside of that car. One woman was able to get out. Firefighters say they did not find the other person. No charges will be filed. Investigators say a Georgetown boy was kidnapped and then abandoned in downtown Lexington yesterday morning. Police found the boy on Woodland Avenue when a neighbor looked out their window and saw that boy crying. We're told the boy's father, 30-year-old William Hanks, took his son with him with him when he got into an SUV with three others for a drug deal. Officers say they drove to Winchester Road near Combs Ferry. That's where the three robbed Hanks, threw him out of the SUV and said that he didn't deserve his son. That's when Hanks went knocking on people's doors. He said he had, he had been pulled from his car or his truck, I think he said, been pulled from his truck and choked and somebody had kidnapped his son. 
Investigators tell us the robbers dropped the boy off with his father's driver's license and told him to knock on doors to get help. Hanks was arrested and charged with wanton endangerment. Officers tell us the boy has been released from UK hospital and is now back with his mother. Police are still looking for the people in that SUV. Two men in Perry County face charges for allegedly breaking into a county official's home. It happened at Coroner Jimmy Maggard's home in Hazard yesterday morning. Maggard says his wife was home when the thieves broke in. They ran when she yelled. Officers arrested Eddie Boyd and Billy Karras and charged them both with receiving stolen property. Police say the two men made off with more than $10,000 worth of jewelry. We're told more charges are pending against them. Police are still searching for two men who they say forced their way into a man's home and then assaulted him. It happened on Alexandria Drive just before midnight Saturday. The victim says two men knocked on his door and forced their way into his home. He says they assaulted him and then took some of his items. The crime in the area has some neighbors scared at night. I'm up and down during the night, you know, because you hear all kinds of stuff. You know, you don't know what's going to happen, you know, and I want to I want to know what's going to happen. If it's around my home, if it's away from my home, I want to, I just want to see what's going around. It's getting so dangerous anymore. Investigators described the suspects in the home invasion as black men in their 30s between 5 foot 8 and 6 feet tall. They were both wearing black jackets. Lexington police say they've arrested two teenagers in connection with a late night shooting. It happened just before 11 Friday night at an apartment complex on Winburn Drive across from Winburn Middle School. Investigators say a man and a woman were treated at UK Hospital with gunshot wounds to their legs. Officers arrested two 19 year olds, Khalil Scarter and William Ellison, on Saturday. Charges against those two are still pending. They say the victim's injuries are not life threatening. And in that same area of town, Lexington police are still investigating a recent homicide. Officers found 19 year old Jeffrey Adams dead in an apartment complex along McCulliffe Drive in the Winburn neighborhood Friday morning. No arrests have been made. A vigil for Adams has been scheduled for five this evening at Winburn and Russell Cave. Two people have been arrested for murder and a case that we've been tracking over in Morgan County. Kentucky State Police say 20 year old Christopher Payton was charged with the murder of Randy Williams. Kimberly Payton was also charged with complicity to murder. On Thursday, police say they found Williams dead at his home in West Liberty. Both suspects were booked into the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center. It is 8.37 and WKYT this morning is just getting started. Coming up, how a new volunteer program is helping students at a Lexington Elementary School. WKYT Sam Dick will have the story. And seeing some patchy frost in some spots this morning, but it doesn't really look like much of that will stick around for much longer. In fact, nor will the clouds. I'll take you hour by hour and show you what you can expect throughout Sunday coming up.